How's it going everybody driver 53 here and today I'm gonna show you a little bit of a workaround to that pallet limit that Giants has put on us Yes, I know that in patch 1.5 they gave us a little bit more But for you older gen console players, it's not really that much more It's only 75 pallets now and I've got a mod here that I believe is going to be one that you are going to want to have installed. It is larger capacity pallets, and it came out on May 24th, 2022. This is a really, really cool mod. What it's going to do is it's going to take your pallets, and instead of being 1,000 liters, it's actually going to make them 5,000 liters. But... It says it doesn't work with everything. So that's what I've got a bunch of different facilities here that are gonna produce pallets for us and we're gonna give it a test. It says that your base game items are going to be considered. That's gonna be your bread, your cakes, your canola oils, your sunflower oils, strawberries, tomatoes, even wool and eggs. So we've got some chickens right here. We're gonna make some egg pallets. We've got some sheep. We're gonna make wool pallets right here. I've also got a mod here and it says that mods are not going to be used but i wonder if it's a mod that makes a base game palette is that going to work so we've got the industrial bakery right here it's going to make bread for us i've also got a donut factory right here we're going to see if this works and then one of the favorite ones from console players we've got the omatana buildings here this one is going to make canola for canola oil for us it's going to be a base game item and this one is going to make popcorn. And then, of course, we have our greenhouses back here. Going to be making strawberries. And then even over here, I have the bakery, regular base game bakery. That's going to be making bread for us. And then we have our grain mill up there on the hill. That's going to be making flour. So we're going to run all of those until we see a couple pallets outside, maybe. Maybe just one. We're going to walk up to them and we're going to look and see exactly how much they weigh. I believe enough time has passed now. Let's go ahead and walk up here and see exactly how much this one is. And you can see right there in the bottom right hand corner, it says it's a pallet of flour. It's 910 kilograms and it's 5,000 liters. So every single one of these is going to be the exact same. So now instead of only 12,000 liters of product sitting out here, you've got 60,000 liters sitting out here right now. This is amazing. Next, we're going to check out our base game bakery right here. So if I walk up to this one, yes, it's also 5,000 liters and it weighs 1.3 tons. Here is the industrial bakery and it looks like, yeah, same thing. 1.3 tons and 5,000 liters. Now let's go right over here and take a look at the donuts. And this one only says 1,000 liters and 160 kilograms. So just like the description said, it's not going to give you the increased volume here on these extra new types of items, only the base game items. Let's go ahead and take a look at our eggs here. Holy cow, 7,000 pieces, 1.5 tons of eggs. And the wool right here, it's going to be 980 kilograms, 5,000 liters also. That is really, really nice. Our canola oil right here, it looks like 5,000 liters, 4.5 tons, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lot. I, uh, wow, those are heavy, very, very heavy. And the popcorn, 700 liters, 179 kilograms. Nope, not going to do anything there. And last but not least, the greenhouses here. These start out as only 500 liters in base game. Let's see what they are now. And that's going to be 2,500 liters at 400 kilograms. Well, it looks like it's going to take everything that's a base game item and multiply it by five. Now, I don't know if some other modders are going to be able to maybe add this into their mods too, if they work together with Top Ace 888. I'm not sure. I mean, there's some really, really cool possibilities here to be able to help console players or even PC players be able to get around that pallet limit a little bit more. And I believe this is a fantastic mod to be able to do that. But that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on all my future videos here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell too. While you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these other two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.